lot of people have, you know, things against him that he doesn't want to come out. Yeah, I've kind of made up my own mind. President Trump was being impeached. It's obviously one-sided. President Trump's impeachment trial catching the attention of millions across the country, including several students at Purdue Fort Wayne. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tom Powell. And I'm Linda Jackson. It was a day of high drama in the U.S. Senate as House impeachment managers squared off with the president's attorneys over trial rules. And as Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Louis Tran tells us, oral arguments in the trial are expected to begin tomorrow. He joins us live in studio tonight. Louis? Tom and Linda, originally both the House prosecutors and the White House attorneys had 24 hours to make their arguments in just two days. But under pressure from Democrats, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell changed the impeachment rules so that both sides now have three days to make their case. Tuesday, President Trump arrived in Davos, Switzerland at the World Economic Forum. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in Washington, Court of Impeachment, the Senate impeachment trial underway. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Both sides, House Fox. Democrats and the president's defense team squaring off, a process both sides say has been out of control for months. Finally, some fairness. A trial without evidence is not a trial. It's a cover-up. The defense team calling the impeachment a brazenly political act and urging senators to speedily reject the articles. The president has done absolutely nothing wrong. He would hide graphic evidence of his dangerous misconduct. This follows a bitter clash over the impeachment rules. The Senate's top Republican, Mitch McConnell, saying he was following the Bill Clinton impeachment model that allowed each side 24 hours to make its case. The process was good enough for President Clinton, and basic fairness dictates it ought to be good enough for this president as well. But Democrats say there's a key difference. They say it would force each side to make their arguments during the span of two long days, lasting late into the overnight hours when fewer Americans are watching. Why don't they want the case to be presented in broad daylight? On something as important as impeachment, the McConnell resolution is nothing short of a national disgrace. Then a surprise. McConnell making a last minute change to the rules, allowing three days for opening statements and allowing certain House documents to be put into evidence. For students at Purdue Fort Wayne. I was watching it when they were actually like doing the vote. Some say they are closely watching and will follow the trial in the days to come. It is pretty monumental, especially since we're living through it. And, you know, it's the second time in a lot of people's lives, but for me, it's the first time. There needs to be a lot more understanding in Washington, a lot more cooperation with the, both the parties. As for the senators, the jurors in this case, they will be playing an unusual role as spectators on their own floor. They're not allowed to speak, and if they have any questions, they must submit those questions in writing. All right, Louie, thank you for breaking it up.